I went from condos to pops house, on calls now bus routes, and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out. Around this time, man, y'all top of y'all game, album is hitting on tour and everything like that. Was this also around the time where um, the Source Hip Hop Awards came around? And, and it, they said something about you shooting a gun or something like that. What happened with a gun at the Source Hip Hop Awards? Well, what happened was, you know, we got nominated for like 10 awards or some shit. But we ain't win one fucking award. So, like, the fuck type of bullshit is this, yo? Like, I felt, like, played and shit, you know? Yeah. I was like, fuck that. I don't even want to perform and shit. J, J Master J is like, yeah. Knocked it off stick. You gotta perform. And da, da, da. I was like, all right, all right, I gotta perform. All right, all right, watch this. If I perform, I'm gonna shoot this bitch up. And that's what happened. And that's what happened. Man. You know what I mean? Man. Was, was this also the same source as Hip Hop Awards or a different one when Suge Knight? Yeah, so when I, when I fired the gun off, it was like a relay race. You just like, give me your morals, get set. And the nigga fired the gun. When I fired the gun, that that's when the hip hop, that's when the East Coast, West Coast beat kind of like started in my mind wow. you know what I mean because that's the source of words that it started yeah so and and firing so the gun was the start of everything yeah so not you, that it was directly connected but you know mythologically speaking and shit yeah so you shot the gun before Suge Knight went up there and said if you want to be a part of death row you know, you, know what? Maybe. you don't want me all up in the videos that so. was before maybe, that maybe Okay. But you niggas, niggas do how we move, so or niggas never came in our dressing room with that bullshit ever. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. How, how did you, how did y'all, from being from New York, feel from hearing somebody from the West Coast get up there and say that? Man, listen, I'm a different type of individual. Like, I don't see um, invisible lines. It's East Coast, West Coast. Nigga, it's niggas and niggas. That's it. The fuck. Yeah, yeah. It's all the same shit, you know. Um, I mean, I traveled the world well, so many today been around the world like five times yeah. and every place is the fucking same yeah, yeah. there's no difference same architecture building structures traffic lights i don't even fuck if you in london and the traffic goes backwards still the same roads and traffic like atms people you know got might have different weather so different insects and animals migrate there people might even talk differently and look different, but it's the same fucking shit. There's no difference, you know. It's all one earth, you know. Real talk, real talk. So it wasn't like no no beef to you and your eyes. You like, hey, that's what. As long as they ain't bringing nothing to me, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's what that's what I feel. Yeah, you real know? talk, real I talk. I mean, you look, two people had a beef, and since they were from two different uh, regions, they try to, uh, you know, the, I think the media mostly you try to put that shit into the play, and then it wasn't a play, and it's just you know. It just blew up after that, you know what I mean? Yeah, real talk. But listen, during the whole East Coast, West Coast beef, we was living in L.A., and we shipped our cars out here. So I had the SC400. Fredro had to drop the red drop-top Beamer with New York plates on them. Mm. So we was out here through the thick of it, the whole shit. I remember we did a show at the House of Blues, right? And um, Tupac was here. And the whole big thing of the night was, yo, is Onyx going to perform Walk in New York? Of course we is, because fuck that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it was all love, and it was crazy, you know what I mean? That's what's up. That's dope. I think, I think Tupac and uh, Keith Murray was wilding out that night, too. <laughs> yeah. Now, did y'all did y'all have a relationship with Tupac and Big, a personal relationship? Well, with we had more of a relationship with Big, okay. you know, but um, I, I did run into Pac a couple of times. It was all love. Matter of fact, the last time I seen Pac, we were in New York at Rodney Dangerfield's club, and he walked up to me, oh, shit, stick, what up? And I was oh, shit, what up? And he said, like, yo, let me buy you a drink. So we went to the bar, bought some handy, we was chilling, talking, yeah. and that was that. You know what I mean? That's dope. That's dope. How how was Big Big like? A lot of people be like, man, I wish I could have met Big and Pac. How was Big Man, like well, look, Big? me and Fred Joe was with Big two days before he got killed, my nigga, in L.A., you know what I mean? At the fuck, I think it was the Four Seasons Hotel or some shit like that. Yeah. I was telling him, yo, oh, it's not all fucking... Uh, 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 bad traffic and palm trees out here. It's hood out here too, you know. Be careful. He's like, we got it, we got it. I was like, yo, I got a ratty in the car. Your niggas good? You know, we good, we good. All right. Two days later, matter of fact, I was in Dr. Dre's studio. All right. When I uh, when I heard what happened, Frederick called me, yo, they killed a big. Yo, I felt violated. I felt like it was like a fucking uh, a rap serial killer. I was like, yo, and I'm in Dre's studio? I, and he got killed in LA? 
I said, yo, let me get the fuck out of here. I didn't even say goodbye to nobody. I just dipped off of shit. Man. Just felt like violated and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Being in Dre, Dre, um, Dre studio, did you feel like let me? I need to even get away from Dre right now. I don't know what's going on. Let me get back to New York. I don't know. But get away from Dre, but just you know, cause East Coast, West Coast, yeah. like you know. And I'm. It's just uh, let me just. Let me just go home and hold my fucking AK in my hand. You know? <laughs> Fuck this little nine millimeter pea shoot I have with me. Let me go hold an AK in my hand and just feel comfort. Yeah, real talk, real talk. Shit. Now I had to show